Hello friends, today I'm gonna unbox Samsung Galaxy S2 OS 2 GT S7582. Let me open the package first, then we'll go on with the unboxing. Let's see what's on the box. Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2. On this side, it's HSPA Plus, Edge GPRS Dual Core, 1.2 GHz. 128mm screen which equals 4 inches 5 megapixel autofocus camera, touch whiz and GPS geotagging Wi-Fi certified and DUOS The model number is GT7582 So the package contains one main set, one battery, one travel adapter, one stereo headset and one data cable Model is GT S7582. So let's open the box. And see what's inside. So here's the phone. Let us keep it on the side for time being. We'll come back to it. This is the quick start guide, the earphones, these are not the air in type headphones, these are the standard average headphones, I would recommend not to use them while listening to music, if you love music. This is the call button, only one button on the headphone and a mic, no volume rocker. Well, this is the USB data cable. And the travel charger. It's rated at 5 ampere. With the standard Samsung plug and the battery. This battery is rated at 1500 milliamperes, so it's kind of good for this. Phone. Let's see the phone itself. kind of light without the battery this phone is the black color with the back being blue so it's on the top it has 3.5 mm headphone jack there's no secondary mic for noise cancellation on the bottom end there is the USB connector and charger and the mic on the right side there is the power button and the micro SD card slot and on the left side there is volume rocker and the strap connector the phone has a primary 5 megapixel camera with an LED flash speaker there and the front camera is VGA open the back panel as usual it's made of plastic cheap plastic which is the forte of Samsung it has a dual sim a standard sim holder there's no micro sim in it as you can see can put two sims in the same place one over the another let's insert the battery and power it on for the first time
first let peel this off oh I love it let's switch it on and see how much time it takes to completely boot sorry about the blur it's kinda hiding some details It took around 23 seconds to boot, which is pretty good. So the transition is pretty smooth. But there's one thing. When you slide your finger across the screen, your finger gets blocked by this small ridge across the screen at the edge of the screen. Which is to prevent the screen from any scratches if you put the phone on the table with the screen down. It's kind of annoying for me, I don't know about you. The screen transition is pretty smooth because of the presence of 1.2 GHz dual core A9 Cortex processor, which is much better than its predecessor. It has around 768 MB of RAM, of which 500 is already being used when you use the phone. And it's running on Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Let's talk about the storage. It has around 4 GB internal memory, of which I guess half may be used. And the available space is only 1.99 GB. That means you will run off the space pretty quickly and you will need an external SD card. The screen resolution is around 400 by 800 and its sprite doesn't look pixelated thanks to the TFT WXGA LCD screen. But this kind of feels too plasticky, it doesn't have the premium feel on it. I'll be making a detailed review of this phone, so please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, then please click thumbs up below. 